Hey guys, Buffalo here. A couple weeks ago, we picked up a Car CM9. We were looking for a new uh, concealed carry pistol for summertime, and we didn't want to drop below a nine millimeter as far as power. It's the less expensive version of Car's PM9, which has the, uh, you know, more machine work on the slide. Uh, it has the, the PM9 has the polygonal match grade rifling. This one just has the conventional rifling. This gun is really accurate for what it is. Got a great set of sights on it. Um, the PM9 is, uh, I think it, the MSRP on the PM9 is like 786 bucks as of today's date. If you go to Car's website, MSRP on this gun is 460 bucks. And of course you'll get it a lot cheaper than that in the shop. We picked this one up at the gun warehouse in Lexington for 339 plus tax put us right at 359 on the outdoor price. Now in another way they've kept costs down is they only ship this gun with one magazine and it is a six round magazine. It fits flush in the bottom. Uh, functions great. Seems real well made. It's a stainless steel welded up. Don't have any sharp edges on it. But uh, another difference in the PM9 and the CM9 is the uh, slide stop is metal injection molded on the CM9. It's a machined part on the PM9. But uh, for what it is, it's a great little gun. All right, guys, I've watched a lot of reviews and uh, read a lot of the message boards where guys are saying you have to use the uh, slide release lever or the gun will jam. Uh, I haven't used the slide release lever any during our break-in period, and I'm not gonna start using it now unless something was to occur. I don't see any reason why you can't just rack the slide. So let's shoot this thing a little bit. All right, with only six round magazines, I have to do a lot of reloading, so uh, this video is gonna be edited quite a bit. Alright guys, we'll do a quick takedown with this little gun. Uh, first you want to remove your magazine. They have got a mark on the slide and a mark on the frame. You'll line those two marks up. You'll come around this side and pop your uh, slide, uh, slide lock lever pin out. I'm using a sharpie because this gun is uh, being new, it's still pretty stiff. Kind of hard to push it out with your fingers. But you just pull that out and get it out of the way. Let your slide come forward. Pull the trigger and your slide will come right off. Looks about like any other gun, any other striker fire gun on first glance. But there are some differences in the car guns. The barrel has an offset feed ramp, which uh, car says allows it to ride lower into the frame and give you less perceived recoil because it's pushing more straight back into your palm. Uh, seems like it works pretty good. The gun is snappy, but it's not as snappy as some of the other lighter weight guns I've shot. But it goes back together just the opposite of the tongue part. The spring is a little bit tricky where it's not captured. 
but it's not too bad. Slide just goes right back on. Line your holes up. Put your slide stop lever back in. And she's ready to go. And the gun will fire without the magazine, which I, myself, I consider that a benefit. Uh, some of them, some of these little guns have the magazine uh, safety disconnects. I don't really care for them myself. This one will fire without it. All right, back to the size of this little handgun. Instead of using another gun to compare it against that, that you guys may or may not own, everybody knows uh, what an iPhone looks like. So this gun is not that much bigger than an iPhone. There's really no reason. If you can carry this every day, everywhere you go, there's really no reason you shouldn't be able to carry this. All right guys, here's a, a better shot of what the trigger, what I'm talking about, about the trigger pull and reset. The trigger is smooth all the way back and breaks at the very back of the trigger pull. The reset, you'll have to let all the way up to reset the trigger and then it's ready to go again. All right guys, the grip texture on this little gun is really aggressive, which I like. Uh, the gun don't slip around in your hands much. Once you get a grip on it, it really digs in, which again, that's what I like on a concealed carry gun. I'm pretty happy with it. And the length of the grip with the flush fitting magazine inserted, it does leave your pinky hanging, but uh, with a good grip and that good grip texture, it's really not a big deal. And you can get an extended magazine to bump this up to seven rounds. And I think somebody, I think they make an eight round one, but I know you can get a seven round magazine or you can just get a uh, extended pinky grip, but I have no need for it. I, I wear an extra large glove with fairly large hands but it doesn't bother me to have my pinky curled up underneath of it like this. Okay, so the CM9 may not be as refined as the PM model, but it's still a fine looking handgun in its own right. And so far during the three to 350 rounds that we've put through it, and we're gonna put that many more through it before the day's over, but so far we've only had one malfunction, and that was the slide fell in the lock back on an empty magazine and it's happened one time so far now if uh, if it keeps happening I'll definitely let you guys know about it but so far I'm really happy with it All right guys, for our uh, $359 out the door price, you know, we didn't get a big fancy hard case, didn't get any spare magazines, but we did get a really reliable, so far, a uh, little semi-automatic nine millimeter pistol here. Uh, probably be carrying this gun a lot this summer. Uh, we're gonna do a part two of this video pretty soon. I'm gonna get some, a bunch of different hollow point ammo and we'll try some different hollow point ammunition in it and see how it performs but so far i'm real happy with it thank you guys for watching